it is no secret that the Yahoo boys are people, the people moving the economy of Nigeria right now. Like what I said in the part one of this video, the hotel rooms are all booked full. And who are bo those booking them? The Yahoo boys. If you go to all the eateries, who are the boys eating at the chest eating? They are the Yahoo boys. Then we come to a question. Will the government decide to curb Yahoo? Will the government be justified to say they will curb Yahoo? In my own opinion, the government is not justified to say they want to curb Yahoo because in the first instance, the government never provided anything for them. There's no provision for employment. In the past uh, couple of years, major, major big companies are closing up and the economic climate in Nigeria is not good. So I want to appeal to the government that this Yahoo boy should be left alone because if you decide to go after them, there will, be, there will be greater criminals in the nation and there will be greater poverty. Already we see the poverty going up. And if you decide to do this further, the poverty will get greater. So I advise the government, if you say it is not good enough, attract industries, attract foreign direct investors to come to Nigeria to set up industries so that these boys can be employed. With this, you may be able to cover it. Then the educational system should be reformed also so that it will be more labor, it will be more entrepreneur uh, oriented so that these boys when they come out they can be self employed or employers of them i want to hear your comments about this particular video don't fail to comment and don't fail to share it let us hear your comments so that the government will have suggestion government will come to know how to handle it and i want you to like it and then share this video